It is a great satisfaction to greet you again, I hope you and your pet are well. Today we will talk about the following. Diseases that dogs and humans have in common. Dogs and humans have a lot in common, including major diseases. Dogs, like us, can suffer from allergies, arthritis and joint pain, different types of dementia, all types of cancer, dental diseases, diabetes, gastrointestinal and digestive disorders, and heart, kidney and liver diseases. Why dogs and humans share so many important diseases? Many of these diseases, in both people and dogs, are due to obesity. In terms of health, obesity trumps everything. Obesity is the number one disease in humans and in our dogs and cats. Obesity is a shared disease in which we eat too many calories and not enough. We know that obesity causes diabetes and cancers of all kinds, and just think about the stress that being overweight places on our joints and organs. We have no excuse for our dogs or cats to be obese. Animals have no control over what they eat. One of the problems is that most pet owners don't recognize when their dogs are overweight. We don't know what the normal weight of our pets is. Today, pet food is extremely tasty and most of us don't practice portion control. In nature, we don't see overweight animals. They eat what they need, not in excess. Obesity is an animal welfare issue. Pain is the number one reason people seek medical care. When it comes to our pets, we don't know when they are in pain. We see the symptoms from the pain, and at that point the disease could progress to the point where treatment will be more aggressive and more expensive. The cares. Caring for people and dogs with serious illnesses is similar. The more advanced the disease, the more aggressive the treatment will be. For example, cancer treatments include medications, surgeries, radiation, chemotherapy, and immunotherapy. A combination of therapies may be used. Eradicating the disease often depends on how advanced it is. Canine Dementia About 20 years ago, no one was talking about canine cognitive dysfunction syndrome. Today, it is found in about 50% of older dogs. It's the canine equivalent of Alzheimer's or dementia in humans. For one thing, our dogs live longer, healthier lives. It used to be that dogs live to be 12 or 13 years old. Now, some dogs live to be 16 years old or older. Now that our dogs are living longer, we see diseases like this. It looks more like a form of dementia in humans than true Alzheimer's. It's like with us, a lot of things happened between the ages of 50 and 75 and between 75 and older. With canine cognitive dysfunction syndrome, dogs become disoriented. They may experience separation anxiety at age 11 or older when they have never experienced it before. Additionally, your sleep patterns may be disturbed, such as sleeping all day and being awake at night. Finally, they can become aggressive. Water in the brain. Another disease that affects both dogs and humans is hydrocephalus or water on the brain. Water is actually cerebrospinal fluid, a clear liquid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. Treatment for dogs and humans involves surgery in which the blockage is removed or a shunt is inserted. If left untreated, the disease can be fatal. When it comes to treating our dogs and humans, veterinarians and doctors are learning a lot from each other. It is a pleasure to inform you and help you. If you have not subscribed to the channel you should do it now, take care of yourself and your furry friend, a hug and until the next video.